Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about this crazy-ass story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet-ass Florida. Now, I know it's been a minute since we've had a story from Ratchet, Florida, but this story is just crazy beyond belief. So what's going down is that we have a 24-year-old man. His name is Fidel Lopez, and basically him and his 31-year-old girlfriend. Her name is Maria Nemeth, and basically they were having sex, and... She had said her ex-husband's name not once but twice during the course of them being intimate. So he got so upset that he basically turned into a monster and he attacked and killed this woman. He ends up calling 911 and he tells 911 that his girlfriend is having problems breathing. They need to come and check on her. The police get there and they just find a crazy, disheveled, bloody scene. So they're trying to figure out what's going on. They see the girlfriend, she's in the bathroom dead on the floor. The guy's, you know, sitting on the floor by her, holding her, crying. He claims that basically they had gotten drunk off of tequila and that they were having some rough sex and then she died. But the police were like, nah, something's not right. There's holes in the wall. Her body looks horrible for somebody who just happened to die. Then the man proceeds to admit that basically he was so upset with her saying her ex-husband's name that he then proceeded to take his entire fist all the way up to his arm. He shoved it up her backside, up her front side, and he pulled out her intestines and she ended up bleeding to death. This story is just so, just, oh my God. This story just got me just like, just super nervous and just super grossed out. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A Sunrise Florida man claims he accidentally killed his girlfriend after she reportedly uttered her ex-husband's name while the two were having sex in a closet. I'm Christina Bear with PIX11. According to the arrest report, Fidel Lopez called 911 saying that his girlfriend had trouble breathing. But police say after more questioning, the 24-year-old Lopez told detectives he became a, quote, monster by attacking and disemboweling his girlfriend, 31-year-old Maria Nemeth, after she allegedly called out her ex-husband's name twice while they were having sex. According to police reports, Lopez said he and Nemeth had been drinking tequila. Police say the 24-year-old became so enraged at the mention of her ex that he not only attacked her viciously, but also destroyed his apartment. Brutally graphic details of the attack and injuries suffered by Nemeth are cited in the police report. Lopez has been charged with first degree murder. Right, so you guys just watched that news clip and this is just really disturbing. I do not understand for the life of me what the hell is going on with Florida. They always have the most craziest cases. I cannot imagine the pain that this woman went through to have somebody do that to her. The entire situation literally sounds like a Mortal Kombat fatality. All I can hear is that damn Mortal Kombat voiceover saying, finish her. I mean, the whole situation is just insane. I cannot believe that he went there. I don't give a damn how loud she screamed her ex-husband's name. Things happen, people make mistakes, people say the wrong names, but that does not give you an excuse to literally kill your girlfriend in that manner. I really feel like there's some demonic ass shit going on in Florida because it's one thing if he would have choked this chick out, but in the manner in which he killed her is just really, really, really disturbing. And it seems like he was literally out of his mind because if he really had intended to kill her, he probably would have ran away from the scene. He would have did something, but the police found him there literally on the floor crying after he had did this. So it's, it almost to me sounds like demonic possession and I I know a lot of y'all are not religious and y'all think I'm crazy when I say that, but there's no other explanation for this. I don't care. Yes, there's crazy people in the world, but for him to go to this extremes because she screamed out her ex-husband's name, this is some creepy ass shit. It just makes no sense to me what so damn ever. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. What do you guys think about this story? Do you guys believe in demonic possession? Do you think that he was demonically possessed when he did this? Or do you feel like he's just a crazy psychopath and you know what I'm saying? He did this on his own whim. And then how do you feel about the story in general? And this is not the first time that we've had a story like this happen. I remember a few years ago, I had did a story about a man in PA who had broken into a woman's house and he raped her and he ended up fisting her and pulling out her um, intestines as well. Thank God for that woman, she did not die. She was able to live, but this woman actually died from her internal injuries. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this crazy ass story that's once again coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. All right, do is Hey you guys, it's your girl T and you can show me some love by watching, rating, and subscribing to my videos. Don't forget to share them and also don't forget to follow me on social media. And if you get a chance, make sure you check out lovelytea.com where you can purchase a coffee mug or a t-shirt. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.